Dub the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Jerry? Jerry? Here I am, Uncle Dan. I'm coming. Well, it's about time. First time I've ever seen you late at mealtime. Yeah, and it's the first time I've ever been late. we better hurry and get into that mess top before the flag goes down. It's not that late, is it? Sure is. Everybody in the circus is over there now having their lunch. What kept you so long? Oh, I was helping Whitey, and we got so busy we forgot all about lunch. <laughs> Say, you must have been busy. Hey, here, Ray. Not so fast now. You're not going in the mess top. Hungry, Jerry? Uh-huh. Extra hungry. I guess I worked up an appetite. Hey, what's the matter, Rag? Hey, look at it. What, Jerry? See way out there by those hills, how dark it is? Hmm, looks like a dust storm out that way. Yeah, and it looks to me like it's coming this way. All right, this is not so good, Jerry. What do you mean, Uncle Dan? Unless I miss my guess, that's more than a dust storm. Wait a minute. Yes, sir, it is. Jerry, it's a cyclone. Honest? A cyclone, Jerry, and heading right this way. Let's get into that mess top and warn the folks. Run ahead, Jerry. You can make better time than I can. Okay, keep rags with you, Uncle Dan. I hear rags. Hey, listen, everybody. There's a cyclone heading this way. A cyclone, yeah. Come here, Jerry. Honest, Mr. Randall, Uncle Dan and I just saw it, and it's heading right for us. All right, quiet. Quiet, everybody. Quiet. Listen to me now. Get out of here and as fast as you can, but be orderly about it. Get out in the open and lie flat on the ground and stay there until this thing passes. I'm going back out and stay with Uncle Dan and Ray. No, all right, go ahead, Jerry, and don't forget to lie flat on the ground. If it's a cyclone, it'll pick up everything in its path. Take it easy, folks. Don't crowd. We want to get everybody out of here safely. Stop it. Good for you, Jerry. You just get in there and warn them in time. Come on, now. Let you and I get over there and back of that little hill. Come on, let's run for it. I'm coming. Come on, Ray. Just look at that twister coming. It's going to hit us any minute now, Jerry. Here it comes. Get down! Get down, Jerry! Life as you can! I will! Here, right? Right on the side! Get on, right? It's gonna hit the mess stop! Here it comes! There it goes across the line! There goes the big top! Gee, I sure hope none of the animals get hurt. But look at that big top, would you? What's left of it? There's just one side and the pole standing. Whew. Look at that cyclone. It's off the last spot of glass. There it goes right across the street and heading right for that group of small frame houses. It's gonna hit them. Oh, that's a stink. Those little houses didn't have any more chance than a cracker box. When will it stop? Hard to say, Jerry. Well, will it come back on the lot again? Well, let's hope not. Looks like it's going to miss the center of the town. Yep. Well, can't we get up now? Well, let's play safe and stay right here on the ground for a while, yep. Look at poor Rags. You're all right, fella. Okay, Rags. It's all over now. He's just shaking like a leaf. Guess he didn't know what to make of all this. Hey, look at the folks over there are getting up now. They're slats and hooligans. See them? Uh-huh. I wonder where Bumps was when that cyclone hit. He was in the mess top. I saw him when I ran in. Well, I guess he got out all right. Let's get up now and look around. <laughs> All right, come on. Give me your hand. Up you go. <laughs> Let's go to the horse stop and see if there was any damage there. Just look, Jerry. The whole circus is a mess. 
Look over there. There's one of the dressing wagons turned over on its side. Yeah. Look at what's left of the midway. There's no doubt about it. There's been thousands of dollars worth of damage done here in the last couple of minutes. I don't suppose we'll have a matinee today. Not a chance. In fact, it'll be some time before we do another show. This much damage can't be repaired so quickly. Hey, you two, hold on a minute. Oh, there's Slats. <laughs> you all right, Slats? Sure I am. How'd you get through? Oh, we're all right. Well, I guess that was a pretty close call for everybody, huh? Anyone get hurt? Nope. So far, there hasn't been any report. Lucky thing we were all together, though, and a lucky thing we all got out of that mess top in time. Uh, it would have been pretty bad if we were in there when that twister took it up. Where are you heading, Slats? Nowhere in particular. I was looking for you, Jerry. I was worried. I, I knew you weren't in the mess top. And that's the first time I've ever been late for lunch, too. What a break. Uh-oh, here comes Kelly. Kelly! Hello! How's the menagerie make out, Kelly? Well, I guess we can't kick none. The place is topsy-turvy, but everything's safe. None of the animals got hurt. Oh, well, that was lucky, wasn't it? Well, a couple of cages were turned over, and there's a few broken wheels they'll have to report. They might find some more damage when the boys get the place cleaned up. But right now, it's hard to take a good check because everything's all covered with hay and sawdust. I wonder if the horse top was hard hit. I see a piece of that top canvas was torn. No, I saw Whitey, and he said it's all okay over there. Yeah, he got away easier than I did. I thought you said nothing happened in the menagerie, Kelly. Well, in my excitement, I guess I forgot to tell you that one of me charges got away. What? What was that, Kelly? It wasn't one of the lions or tigers, was it? No, not that bad. It was Aga. The chimpanzee? Yeah, the cage she was in turned over and broke, and she got out. Yeah, the men have been looking all over the lot for her, but yeah, I guess she's left it. Oh, that's plenty bad. Oh, she's harmless. She'll turn up somewhere before long. Uh, she's most likely scared and hiding somewhere. That would be like a captive chimp. Sure, we'll find her. Well, uh, I got to get back and take charge while the boys clean up. Uh, I'll have to quiet those animals if I can. They're bellering something awful. Well, uh, I I'll be seeing you. Okay, Kelly. See you later. So long, Bye. Kelly. Gee, it was sure lucky none of the animals got hurt. Yep. There was an awful lot of damage done, but I guess we can thank our lucky stars. It wasn't worse. Uh, if you two don't mind, I think I'll look up Mr. Randall and see if I can be of any help. That's a good idea, Dan. Mr. Randall probably needs a lot of help. You go right along. Run along now. And Jerry and I will look around a little and see what we can find to do. All right. I'll see you back at the wagon. Come on, Rags. You're going to go with us. Come on. Uh, that's the worst thing I've ever seen in my whole life, Jerry. It all happened so fast. Well, it, it's almost unbelievable. I... I wonder what Mr. Randall's going to do. That's hard to say. It looks bad enough, but I'll bet it's a whole lot worse than it looks in hard-earned dollars and cents. We can't go on to the next town. Hardly. Until we repair the damage. It's a bigger problem than I can figure out, Jerry. It'll take a man like Sam Randall to know what the next move is. But what's going to happen when supper time comes? There's no cookhouse or mess tent. Say, that's right. You haven't had anything to eat yet. Oh, I wasn't thinking of that. Well, we'll get you something to eat. You and I'll take a walk through the town and see if we can find a restaurant still standing that's doing business. No, I'm not hungry, Slats. Oh, well, all right then. But if you want something to eat, just to speak up. Look, Slats, look at all the trappings and things hanging from the center poles. There sure isn't much left of the big top. Uh, uh, I, I wonder if... What, Slats? Huh? Oh, 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 nothing, nothing, Jerry. Come on, now, you're going to say something. Well, I was just wondering, Jerry, if Mr. Randall is going to be able to save... Well, I just wonder if we'll finish out the season. Do you think it's that bad? Hmm, looks that way to me. There's thousands of dollars worth of canvas gone. There's nothing left of the seat. The midway's a total wreck, and the salaries are going right on, you know. Ah, uh, it looks bad, Jerry. Very bad. But if we don't finish the season, how will Mr. Randall ever get enough money to pay for all the damage? I don't know. I just don't know. You know, Murray told me that there was always extra canvas back at winter quarters. That can be sent on to us. Uh, if there's enough of it. Look over there at the wardrobe top. Or, I mean, where it was. There's nothing set in there but a couple of those big boxes of Clara's. Mm-hmm. That means an awful lot of costumes were carried away with that cyclone. Did you see the big top go up? You bet I did. And I'll never forget that sight. It'll look just like a big balloon with all the ropes hanging to it. And it just kept turning and twisting all the while, and it kept going higher and higher. Uh-huh. Look for all the world like a little piece of paper in a stiff breeze. Yeah. I don't see how a cyclone can be so strong to be able to pick big things up like that and carry them away. 
You know, I've heard tell of cyclones taking houses up and carrying them for miles before dropping them to earth again. I guess I'll have to believe that after what I saw. Hey, listen. Why, what is it, Jerry? Don't you hear someone? Listen now. Didn't you hear it then? <laughs> Quiet, right? Now, when we listen. I don't hear anything, Jerry. I know I did. I think it's coming from over there in back of the horse stop. <laughs> right. Well, let him go, Jerry. He's probably on the trail or something. It's under that piece of canvas. See something moving? Uh huh. Ah, I heard it then. You're right, Jerry. It, it is under that canvas. Come on now. What is it, Ray? Huh? We're coming. Here, Jerry. You give me a hand with that canvas. You take the other end now. Right. Pull hard and throw it back now. Then. Ready? All right. Go. All right. Here. Made your mind. It's about time. I'm, I'm, I might have suffocated under here. <laughs> Well, how on earth did you get under there, Major? Oh, untie me. Get me out of here. There'll be time enough to talk afterwards. Yeah, I'll untie you, Major. Is the cyclone over with? Is it all over, Swat? Sure, Major. Then don't uh -huh. be excited now. How did he ever get all tied up with all this rope? And he looks like he's tied to the sand bowl. Well, of all things. <laughs> well, laugh if you want to, Swat. I think it was a fast piece of thinking on my part. There you are, Major. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Uh, and uh, what is this about fast thinking, huh? Well, sir, I saw that flame cyclone coming, and I knew that, well, I realize I'm a little fella, and I, I didn't want to be taken up and blown away with the wind, so I ran over for the blacksmith shop here, and I tied myself to this anvil. I figured that a couple of hundred pounds would keep me on old Mother Earth. <laughs> that was all right, Major. You, you bet you that was fast thinking. <laughs> Maybe it was a good thing this rope was any too, or you might be flying around like a bird right now. Uh, I didn't have any time for any fancy sailor knots, and I got so twisted up that when this canvas fell on me, I couldn't get out. Well, it's all over now, and you're safe and sound. Oh, is there much damage done? Well, just wait till you see it, Major. Bad, huh? I'll say so. Another prediction of Rosa Rotsy's come true. What? What do you mean, Major? This is exactly what she meant when she said she saw the circus in hundreds of pieces. Gee. Now, I wonder what she meant when she said Mr. Randall won't be able to get all the pieces together again. <laughs>